Welcome to our video, Five Types of Fish You Should Never Eat. In this video, we will be revealing the five kinds of fish you should avoid in order to maintain a healthy diet and lifestyle. Do you ever feel like your food choices are limited or that the seafood options available are not as safe as they could be? It can be difficult to make informed decisions about what's best for your health when it comes to seafood, especially if you're not sure which types of fish contain higher levels of mercury or other toxins. Not only is it hard to know what kind of fish is safe for consumption, but it can also be overwhelming trying to figure out how much and how often certain types should even be eaten. The problem with eating certain types of fish is that some species contain high levels of contaminants such as mercury and polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBs. These pollutants have been linked with a variety of health risks, including cancer, reproductive problems, neurological damage, and more. Additionally, overfishing has caused many species populations around the world to become severely depleted, which can lead to further environmental issues such as disruption in marine ecosystems. Did you know that many countries have restrictions on fishing in order to protect their marine environments? For example, Japan has implemented strict regulations on tuna fishing since 1955, due largely in part from overfishing practices leading up until then. This has helped ensure sustainability within their fisheries, while also helping reduce bycatch rates significantly. In this video, you'll also learn a lot of important things to remember when buying fish. Not only that, we'll also tell you about a common fish that you should definitely avoid because it is full of toxins. The poison in this fish will mess up your body, big time. But before we move on to our countdown, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel to help us reach more people. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you can be the first to know when our latest video comes out. So without further ado, let's start the countdown to the five types of fish you should never eat starting with. Number five, orange ruffy. This so-called slimehead fish has an incredible lifespan of up to 150 years, making it one of the longest living creatures in the ocean. However, it takes around 30 years for them to mature, which means that if you choose to eat this fish, you'll be consuming a 30-year-old creature that has accumulated toxins over time. This can result in higher levels of contaminants like mercury, which can be harmful to humans. Now, while mercury is the most commonly discussed contaminant in this fish, there are many other toxins that can be found in it due to various factors affecting the ocean throughout history. For instance, in 2004, a scientific expedition collected orange ruffy fish ranging from just one year old to a staggering 139 years old. The fish were then analyzed and the researchers found dangerous concentrations of heavy metals like mercury, arsenic, cadmium, and lead, also known as the big four, in the context of heavy metal poisoning. The toxins in orange ruffy tend to accumulate in the fish's fatty tissues, causing inflammation, decreasing cell function, and leading to issues like fatigue, brain fog, and even depression. In addition, they can also contribute to the inflammation of artery walls, which is a major driver of heart disease. Interestingly, male orange ruffy are more contaminated than females, possibly because females eliminate some of their toxins when they release their eggs. Moreover, Overfishing is another significant concern with this fish, as its populations are being depleted at an alarming rate. This depletion not only affects the biodiversity of the ocean, but also disrupts the entire marine ecosystem. So, while we've talked about the dangers of consuming mercury, it's worth noting that there are other high mercury fish that one should also avoid. Next on our list is number four, tilapia. Tilapia is undoubtedly one of the most widely consumed fish in the United States. However, there's a crucial reason why you should think twice before indulging in this popular fish. It's omega-6 to omega-3 ratio. Omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids are vital nutrients that the body needs. But if the omega-6 intake exceeds the omega-3 intake, it can lead to inflammation, high blood pressure, and an increased risk of heart disease. Unfortunately, tilapia is high in omega-6 and low in omega-3. In fact, it has one of the worst omega-6 to omega-3 ratios of any fish. What's even more concerning is that imported tilapia often falls short of safety standards. 
the U.S. FDA has flagged several exporters for regularly sending tilapia with unacceptable levels of harmful chemicals. Some of these chemicals used to control parasites in fish farms can be carcinogenic and have been banned in many countries. However, some fish farmers continue to use them and sell their products under the radar. Similarly, imported tilapia may contain high levels of antibiotics. The overuse of antibiotics can lead to antibiotic resistance, which is a growing problem in human health. So if you're looking for a healthy fish option, you might want to think twice before choosing tilapia. Its poor omega-6 to omega-3 ratio, coupled with the risks of harmful chemicals and antibiotics in imported varieties, make it a questionable choice for health-conscious consumers. At number three, eel. When it comes to eel, there are several reasons to steer clear. While cooking can eliminate the risk of raw eel and eel blood poisoning, the bigger concern is the amount of toxins these fish absorb from their environment. A study in the scientific journal Chemisphere discovered that eels often contain toxic chemicals from clothing and textile industries, which can be harmful to humans who consume them. Researchers found that 77% of eel sites in Belgian rivers, canals, and lakes were contaminated with highly toxic dyes. Additionally, eel populations in Taiwan have been found to have alarming levels of cadmium poisoning, which is linked to osteomalacia and kidney failure. Unfortunately, eel is also not a sustainable choice. Many eel species are endangered due to overfishing and habitat destruction, and some are even protected under international conventions. Despite efforts to artificially reproduce eels, their populations continue to decline. As sushi and Japanese eel dishes gain popularity worldwide, the trend of overfishing and depletion of eel populations is only accelerating. So while eel might seem like a delicacy, it's best to avoid it altogether. Number two, king mackerel. As much as we love fish, not all of them are created equal. Take king mackerel, for example. While other types of mackerel are considered healthy, king mackerel should be avoided. Why, you ask? Well, one of the main concerns with king mackerel is its high levels of mercury. Mercury is a toxic metal that accumulates in our bodies and can lead to serious health problems, including neurological damage, kidney problems, and developmental delays in children. Compared to other fish, king mackerel is known to have particularly high levels of mercury. Now here's the thing. King mackerel is a predatory fish. That means it's at the top of the food chain and consumes other fish. Because of this, it accumulates more toxins over time, such as PCBs and other toxins. Even if a chemical has been banned for decades, it can still persist in the environment and accumulate in the fatty tissues of this fish. And that's why we recommend avoiding king mackerel. But don't worry, there are plenty of other types of mackerel that are much healthier. For example, Atlantic mackerel and Atka mackerel are lower in mercury and higher in inflammation-fighting omega-3 fats, making them all-round healthy fish that you can feel good about adding to your diet. Number one, swordfish. It's a classic and popular fish that many of us have probably had at some point, but as with many things in life, there's a catch. One of the main concerns with swordfish is the high levels of mercury. Mercury is a toxic metal that accumulates in the body over time, leading to serious health problems such as neurological damage, kidney problems, and developmental delays in children. Swordfish is a predatory fish, and similar to king mackerel, it's at the top of the food chain. And due to the high levels of mercury and other toxins it has, the FDA recommends that pregnant women, young children, and those with weakened immune systems avoid eating swordfish altogether. Instead, choose safer fish options such as salmon or trout. Furthermore, swordfish can also contain high levels of other contaminants such as PCBs, dioxins, and pesticides, which have been linked to various health issues. Additionally, swordfish is a slow-growing species and is therefore more susceptible to overfishing. The large, long-lived fish are often caught using methods that can harm other marine species, such as longlines, which can accidentally catch and kill sea turtles, sharks, and other animals. Swordfish is also high in histamine, a compound that can cause an allergic reaction in some individuals. This is because swordfish, like other large predatory fish, can develop high levels of histidine, an amino acid that can be converted into histamine when the fish is not properly stored or preserved. Although swordfish is a good source of protein and certain nutrients, such as vitamin D and selenium, 
the potential health risks associated with consuming swordfish outweigh the benefits. And there you have it, folks. Five types of fish to avoid due to their high levels of toxins, pollutants, and mercury. While fish is a great source of protein and healthy fats, it's important to be aware of which types of fish are safe to consume and which ones to limit or avoid. By being informed about the potential risks associated with certain types of fish, we can make better choices for our health and the health of the planet. Always check with your local health department for any fish consumption advisories and guidelines. Remember, a healthy and sustainable diet includes a variety of nutrient-rich foods, including fish. So, go ahead and enjoy your seafood, but do it wisely and responsibly. We hope you found today's video useful. Do you have any questions or tips to share? Write them down in the comments below. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. We want to keep making informative videos for you, so if you gained value from this video and would like more of it, you can send us a super thanks by clicking the thanks button at the bottom of the video. Thanks for watching and we hope you're having a healthy and happy day.